All right, all right, Israel. Shalom. Shalom. We'll be back again with another lesson today. Today's lesson is going to be called The Spirit of Slumber Unto This Day. Uh, we see that's a uh, major thing in Israel, the slumbering spirit in Israel. All right, we're going to get some more to that. Uh, today, I got Brother Vidal, aka the story out of Gentiles with me. Shalom, brother. Shalom, Israel. Let's get down. Very important today. We're learning about where we are, okay, so that we're not scratching our heads trying to figure out what the hell's going on. We're going to get into it, though. Right, that's right. Go ahead, brother. That's right, that's right. So we're going to grab first. We're going to grab Isaiah 42. Yeah, let's go to Isaiah 42. You know, it's all about the prophecies, okay? Whenever you are feeling faint in your faith, this is what you lean on, Israel. You know I teach prophecy. It's a reason for that. The Most High God of Israel, he communicates to Israel through prophecy. This is how you know he is true in every word. Okay? Now let me read it. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Let me read that again. Listen to the thing. Hear it, Israel. Behold, the former things are come to pass. Let's go into a couple of those former things. Like our slavery. That's a former thing that has come to pass. Israel says they are awakened. How are you awakened? You are awakened by way of 28th chapter of Deuteronomy. You see that? So again, I'll read it. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. New things, like a new heaven and a new earth. You see that? Letting you understand who will be and who will not be in that new heaven and on that new earth. Okay? Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. This is Yahweh. Get into the power of prophecy. Okay? Hamashayak. What did it say about him? He is the spirit of prophecy. Okay? Now, you have to set your understanding, your hope in the salvation which will, shall be brought upon you, unto you, by whom? Hamashayak. And his words were what? Matthew 18 and 3, this is the new walk that we are on, Israel. Join us, okay, or die. Simple. Except ye become uh, uh, converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's how real it is. That's how simple it is. Go ahead, brother. Say something to him. That's right. That's right. You got to be converted into little children. That's the whole point of our last couple of videos. Get that pride off your shoulders. You you can't be prideful in this book, man. You don't know anything. All right. But, you know, you got to get that spirit of slumber off, 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 up off of us, too. All right. So we're going to dive more into these scriptures to figure out what we can do to get these things off of us. All right. All right, so the, the name of the lesson again, Israel, is the spirit of slumber unto this day, not seeing nor hearing, not seeing nor hearing, okay? This is where we are, even though the Most High God of Israel, Yahweh, has proven himself to be beyond a shadow of a doubt in control of all things. He sent Israel into slavery, and then he told us about it. Right. Okay? And before everything that would happen has happened after that point. He told us by way of prophecy of what that would be. Yet and still, he also told us he has placed the spirit of, of, of slumber on Israel unto this very day. Let me go to Romans in the ninth in the 11th chapter, please. And we've done this the past couple of videos, and we're not going to let it go until all understand. This is where we are. Okay? Now, let me go down to, uh, we're going to go to the, um, let's go to the 
let's go to the uh we we'll go to the eighth verse. Yeah. Wait what'd you say? No, I was about to say you can start at the top, but go ahead, yeah, eight verse is fine. Yeah, we'll go to the eighth verse, get on to it so you can get um according as it is written, Yahweh hath given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that should not see, that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So it's not talking about what was. There is no past tense in it. This is present unto this day. I'm going to read it one more time, Israel. Hear the thing. According as it is written, okay? God, Yahweh, have given them, the Israelites, the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day, the reason that you uh, that you think a Mexican is your brother is because the spirit of slumber has been placed upon you. The reason that you think Joseph is the father of Hamashiach, Yahawashiach, even though the scriptures do not tell you that, the spirit of slumber has been placed upon you. You understand that? Now, let us go on. Hope that that resonates with you and you easily understand. That's right. I got, I okay. Got a, I got verse you pour it out. Romans 11. I got a precept for that. Yeah, in Romans 11. The precept Isaiah 2. Go ahead. It says, for the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers have he covered. So he covered all the eyes, man. Prophets, everybody, rulers, see that? So most high, the most high is doing that. Thank you. Let me very profound. Listen to the thing, Israel. I know that I can speak and attest to this moment myself because I spent months trying to teach Israel about bring unto you holiness, trying to say uh, these other people are not our people according to the scriptures, hoping that maybe I could get through to you and, and, and that you would understand that this is not the truth of Yahweh. And the reason why I stayed, I used to tell you, I stayed pissed off. It was because I didn't understand. The understanding has come to me, though. Unto me these last couple of days, my awakening has happened, okay, with the help of all my brothers, with the help of the scriptures from which we get hope, okay? I understand blindness now. I don't have to be angry anymore. I'm not pissed off anymore. I'm not mad at Judas Israel, Judah Israel anymore. I understand the Most High did this. He, pl he placed Israel, okay, in this deep sleep. Okay, so now let me go back over here. Let's go to Deuteronomy. We're talking about the spirit of slumber. And let's go back to Deuteronomy in the fourth chapter. Suffer me, Israel. I'm kind of unconventional. Okay. Fourth chapter, fourth chapter, Salakia. 28th verse. This, this is how we work our way out of this. Listen to the thing good. We going back to the Torah, okay? Uh, and there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. This is what the Most High told us way back when was going to happen to us by way of what? By way of prophecy. So if you're hearing the thing, if you understand it, the Most High told us, he said, this is what's going to happen. He tells you first, and still slumber has come about Israel. Why? We're not scratching our heads anymore. Because that's the will of Yahweh. Let me say something else too. Very profound. I imagine that all of the awakened of Israel say their prayers unto the Most High God each night. And what do you pray? That his will be done. Okay? So when we uh, uh, want what he has not uh, ordained as his will, then we want his will not to be done. Do you understand that, Israel? Just Listen like to how, the thing. Uh, just like how Peter tried to stop you. I was shot from doing what he had to go do. You know what I'm saying? He called him Satan. 
you mm-hmm. have to try to keep me from doing what I need to be doing. My will shall be done, or the most high's will, she said, will be done. You see that? And you're not going to stop it. He was talking to Peter when he said that. Called him Satan. That's, that's profound, brother. Called him Satan. Right. Okay? All right, now listen to the thing good. This is where we, this is how we, this is about our awakening at some point from this slumber. How are we going to do it? Only by seeking the most high God of Israel, Yahweh. Only way we're going to do it. It's not going to be because Solomon preaches wisdom unto you or, or that Radawa preaches prophecy unto you or whoever in the hell else preaches what they preach unto you. Yahweh, the power of the almighty God. You understand that? Now, but if, but if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord Yahweh thy God, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. This is how you're going to wake up from that blindness. This is how he'll take it up off of us. Let's read on about it. When thou art in tribulation, Israel, and all these things are come upon thee, even... In the latter days, which we are in, if thou turn to the Lord Yahweh thy God, and shalt be obedient unto his voice, not unto the voice of Radawa, not unto the voice of Solomon, you understand, or any other man, unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh thy God. And it will read on, for the Lord Yahweh thy God is a merciful God. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swear unto them. You understand that? Now, all this this is what has to come about in order for you to even begin to think about this spirit of slumber being lifted off of, of, of Israel. And it doesn't matter what we want. The will of the Father is all. That matters. Go ahead, brother. Say some words to him. Let's grab that Jeremiah 29 and 13 real quick. Jeremiah 29 and 13. Let's do that. Matter of fact, start at 12 and read down to 14. It's profound. It right 29 and 13. Yeah, I got you, brother. Start at verse 12, brother. Start at verse 12, and it will read, Israel. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. That's love. After all our bull, yeah. after all of our iniquity, what did he just say? Let me read it again. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye when ye shall search for me. I mean, oh, let me go back. I slack here. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Right, right. See that? You got to seek after the most high with all your heart. Not half of it, not 75%. You need all of it, 100%, all or nothing, man. It ain't no half and half. Read that verse 14 right there. That's profound, too. And it will read as well, verse 14 of the 29th verse of Jeremiah. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord Yahweh. And I will turn away your captivity. Mm. Let me read that again. Listen to the thing. And I will turn away your captivity. Isn't that where we are right now? And I will gather you from all the nations. And from all the places whither I have driven you. This is how you know, and I just got to say this to you, Israel. We're not on the thing, but I got to say it to you. This is how you know a Mexican is not your brother. What did it say? And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you. Mexicans ain't in all the places, but I'm going on. Saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Right. Go ahead, brother. That's right. So if you seek the most high with all your heart, soul, mind, and spirit, could reverse that captivity for you. But that's not going to happen. We see Israel right now. They are in the deep sleep. They are in the slumber. 
You see that? We as a nation, we're not going to seek the most high. So we need Jehovah Shah to come down here and what's quote unquote divine intervention to help us and bring us up out of this land, which will be better than the Exodus. You see that? He would no longer be known as the God who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. That's right. All right. Where we at, brother? All right. So now, in the midst of our calamitous end times, Israel, we must understand Matthew 22. Uh, 14th chapter. I'm in a verse. Matthew 22 and 14. Let's go there right quick. Okay, and it will and it will read. Uh, for many are called, but few are chosen. What have we been telling you of late? Remnant. This is about that remnant. Right. Let him have it, brother. Yeah, it's about that remnant, man. You you got to be a part of that remnant. That's it, man. Ain't nothing else we can say about that. That's what the Bible say. All right. Let's read some more over here. All right. So now listen to the thing good, Israel. And we're going to read. And we the theme is now and forever shall be. Okay. Hamashiach, Shai. Okay. Now let's go over here because we're dealing with this remnant. Okay. That the Most High has uh, uh, has, has plans for in the midst of all of this deep slumber. You wonder why you're not getting it? You're saying, uh, I, I still believe these people that are no people are our people. Because you are under this, in the spirit of this deep slumber, it's all upon you, okay? Now, we're going to go over here to Luke in the 19th chapter, and we're going to read about Hamashiach Yahushai. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go down to the... Mm, yeah, we're going to go to the ninth... Yeah, ninth verse. All right, here the thing, Israel. No, let me go over here. I got to go to Luke. I'm sorry. Luke 19. Now I'm here. All right, so Luke 19, and we're going to go to the... Uh, starting at the ninth verse, like the brother said. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, This day is salvation come to this house. For so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Right. Okay. Right. Right. And as they heard these things. He added and spake a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem and because they thought that the kingdom of Yahweh should immediately appear. This is the thought process they had. They didn't understand. So let him speak unto them and you and me and the brothers, okay, and the sisters in parables. All right? So here's the thing. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom. Mm. Here the thing. And to return. Okay? So he, he let's read it again. A certain nobleman, Yahawashai, went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Now start right there. That that one line is very, very crucial. Occupy till I come. That means don't sit around not doing anything. Don't be slumbering. Don't be sitting around with being the sluggard. You see that? Don't be lazy in this walk. Occupy until I come. Keep working. All right? Wait, brother. Profound, brother. Preach to him. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. See that? This outright okay. saying, no, nah, we don't want him. Just like in Jeremiah, they said, no, nah, we're we going to keep doing what we want to do. We're going we gonna, to uh, burn these incenses to the uh, queen of heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. same attitude. Same exact attitude. 
billion, which is rich, uh, witchcraft. And let me tell you something else. It, it is witchcraft in Israel. You don't have to say it out of your mouth. I will not listen to him. We will not hearken. We don't want him to reign over. You do that in your actions. You understand? See what your spiritual eye, Israel. I'm learning myself. And if you know a dummy like Radawa can get it, how be it you can't get it? Okay? Here's the thing. Okay? But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. Is that you? Mm. Is that you saying this with your actions? That you will not have Hamashayak, Yahawashah, the Lord and Savior of Israel to reign over you? Well, he is going to reign over you. We just brought it out in the lesson, last lesson. Daniel in the 13th chapter. You, you understand? All dominion over all these things was given unto him by the Heavenly Father. Shots fired to you non-messianics. Uh, right. Man, who, in hell, who in the hell is he? Is what thou were talking to then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> That's the problem, man. They saying the same thing about your house shot when it comes to the ones who so called believe in them. If you came through the nest of Joseph, through a cursed lineage, you're saying the same thing as a non messianic. You're saying the same exact thing. That you will not have this man to reign over you. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Because but he is. Yeah. He is going to reign over you and right. all things else. That's right. Everything. Everything. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, here's the thing. So he's returned and he has received the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay? The only one he could receive it from is who? Most the Heavenly right. Father. So we, we all on the same page right now. All right? And it says, Then he commanded these servants to be called unto him. So he said, man, listen, all y'all meet me. Come over here. I need to holler at you. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, and it says, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Mm. What did the brother just tell you? Not being slack. He told you to occupy it till I come. That's right. Lord said, Lord said, occupy until I come. Go to work. All right. Occupy, that's um that's a verb, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> to do something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. It's so of action. Action. Okay. Right. Here the thing. Then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well. Thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. So because he took this pound, this servant, turned it into this pound, turned it into ten pound pounds, he received from the king ten cities, authority over ten cities. Right, rulership. See that in the kingdom, in his kingdom, you, you receive rulership in his kingdom by doing the work, by occupying it till he came back. See that? All right. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been fruitful in his very little, thou hast authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said, likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. Mm -hmm. You see that? So you get rewarded here, man. You, you are rewarded for every work that you do on this earth. It's recorded. You see that? So the most side knows what you do and what you're not doing. If you're occupying and if you're not occupying, if you've been the slugger, you can see that. And you will be rewarded for that. We're going to see what your reward is. Where, <laughs> And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. Mm -hmm. He hid it. For I, f mm, wow, let's hear the thing. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man, an austere man. Give him the definition of austere, brother, please. Austere means to be strict, severe, harsh. 
You see that? That's what it means to be a strict man, severe, so, harsh. So let me get this. Let me get this straight. Then, I mean, you tell me if I'm wrong. The brother said, "For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man." So that means he feared him because he already knew that he was an austere man. Correct? Yeah, he wasn't one of no games, brother. He okay. Okay, well, let's, 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 let's hear about how this thing played out. And then Israel, whomever it may apply to, tell me if this is your process or not. Are you this man that had his pound off and rolled up in a napkin? Okay, saved up. Okay, let me read it. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou laidest not down. Mm. And reapest that thou didst not sow. Mm. See that? So you ain't did no work. You ain't do no work, man. <laughs> That's what he's saying. You take enough stuff that you ain't even put down. <laughs> See that? You got a problem. That's what he's telling you. You have a problem. This austere man has a problem with you if you're sitting around now occupying. If you're being a slugger, he's after you. See that? And he saith unto him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, mm. thou wicked servant. See what he called him? A wicked thou... servant. You don't mm. want to be called a wicked servant, man. You want to be called a righteous servant or a good servant, like he called the other two brothers above. Good servant. Job well done. You come and inherit this part of the kingdom. You get these 10 cities, you get these five cities, but you, the one who hid the master's treasure, you got a problem. And it's about to get deeper, his real thing. And like I said, right now, all of us, it is incumbent upon us to look in the mirror and ask thyself, is this me? Am I this wicked servant? Okay, let's hear the thing. And he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man. Wow. Did you know that, Israel? Or did you think that Hamashak was one of your golfing buddies? Right, right. You see, that you all go, you, you, when he comes back, you all gonna go golfing together. He came to surf with you. <laughs> okay. No, uh, that's not Thou newest. Right. That's right, brother. No, that ain't that ain't what it is. We're about to read about it. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore, then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury, interest. Go ahead, brother. Break that down to him. If you the most I giving you some knowledge, you got to go out and flip that. Yeah, I know y'all. Y'all know the street lingo. Yeah, gotta go flip that, man. You understand that? Yeah, the most I do the sing. Oh, his uh, his only begotten son, yeah, I was shy. He give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You got to go gain some souls with that. You can't sit on that all day. That ain't how it work. You got to go get some. You work. say you 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 say you uh you niggas know about the streets. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah? Well guess what? We're about to read about who who dwell in them streets. <laughs> the real streets. We, we we about to read we, we <laughs> we're about to read about right now who dwells in them streets. You see that? I promise you I got that. Okay. No smoke. <laughs> no smoke do you want? <laughs> right? No smoke, okay? So let's read it again. One more time, is we hear the thing. Okay, and he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore, then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury, interest. This is gangster. Now, let me explain something to you right quick, okay? Get into the thing. So, how is this any different than Godfather? Yeah. Show me how it's any different. 
Okay, he got troops. He got brothers that's uh that's in that that that's part of his ranks. He tell them, okay, this the order of the business right here. Go out there and give it. I expect tribute. You you gonna come back and pay tribute? Y'all you know, niggas watch the movies and stuff just in case you ain't truly been out there and don't know nothing for real. Okay, you know you're supposed to come back with that and then some. And some, right. you see that. Just like, and also, you can't go talk to the head guy without the mediator. You see that? Yeah, I was shy being the mediator. You can't go talk to the Most High without him. Thank you. You see that? Tell him again, brother. Yeah, they can't go holler at uh, uh, Don Colleone and during the time of uh, the, the Scott face, but they couldn't go holler at the, the head man. They can't go holler at him. No, but they tell they tell me every day. They tell you every day. Oh man, don't be with that. I my shy act shit. That ain't real. Okay. Well, who in the hell is the Godfather talking about? <laughs> He's know. saying, "Go, you gotta go see this man right here." You nigga, you can't come talk to me. Yeah, you can't okay? talk to him even in the Old Testament during the Levitical priesthood. No regular man can go talk to him that wasn't a part of the Levites. If he was a high priest, he could talk directly mm -hmm. to the source. You know what I'm saying? But you couldn't talk to him if he was of the other uh, tribes, bro. You couldn't even. But wait a minute. I guess I, 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 I guess if they if they go seek out uh Sakari, then they can get to the most high. A <laughs> mamza, uh, uh, you see? A uh, mamza, hi, Mister High, fucking priest. Okay, Salaki on my on my language is what I said. I was not going to do that no more. Not because it's against the law, because I don't need it. The That's power right. is in the scriptures. Right. And see, okay. Here, he uh calling himself a high priest. He's basically saying your high shy. It's no need for him because your high shy is our high priest. You call That's why priest. it don't matter because this is a mamza talking to you. This man shouldn't be preaching in the first place. Exactly. Just like he's not how, in the congregation. That's right. Just like how there was like Moses' sons, they weren't considered priests. See that? You ever thought about that? You will ask yourself, okay, why wasn't Moses' sons considered priests, but Aaron's sons were? That's because Moses' sons wasn't directly from the Holy See. I mean, was he tell him was, again, brother. Please break Moses that down to him mixed, again. He was mixed up with another nation. You see that? But Aaron's sons wasn't. So his sons were what? Bastards? You say? They, 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 they were. They, they couldn't have been priests. They wasn't holy enough. Put it like that. Okay. Okay, <laughs> we put it like that. But like they wasn't holy That's right. the priest. You see that? Again, we learn Yahweh is even holy within Israel. Israel. Right. That's right. That's so how that holy this most high is. So the question is, how can someone call themselves a high priest and not even a hundred percent Israel? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. And for those, I'm not banging on nobody in particular. Well, yeah, I'm banging against against that guy right there because he's calling his son something and basically denouncing Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Just like Yahweh Shai banging the Pharisees for their wicked doctrines. See calling that? them vipers. Called them vipers. John See the that? Baptist called them vipers. So we are in line. These right. men are vipers. Okay? Right. Now let me read on. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound and give it to him that hath ten pounds. Mm -hmm. Now watch how I, now look 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 at the thing. How they reacted to this. Because you might be reacting to this if you saw this happen. What did they say? And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. <laughs> so they, they, they say, man, well, why 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 are you gonna take? from this guy and give his little one pound to the man over here that got 10 pounds already okay so now we're gonna hear the thing that's how ruthless this is okay this ain't no game okay this ain't golfing mm -hmm. okay for i say unto you that unto everyone which hath shall be given and from him that hath not even that he hath shall be taken away from him. So you see that? That means whatever the most I given unto you, you're sitting on that. And he gave you this gift. He gave you the treasures. And you sitting on it. He's going to confiscate that. And give it to the man who's working. That's what it's saying. He's taking you. He's taking that knowledge, that wisdom and understanding from you. You ain't going to be in the truth no more. So you can count yourself done. You can count yourself out of it. See that? So get the work. 
<laughs> That's the whole conclusion of the matter. Get the work, Israel. Occupy till he come. That's what he said. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Now let's hear the conclusion of the matter here. Okay? But those mine enemies, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, mm. bring hither and slay them before me. Now I'm going to read the thing again, Israel, just in case you think that this is some type of game. This is the deal. Mm -hmm. You understand? How Mashai Yaki Awashai is talking about murder. <laughs> Killing, yeah, kill. Killing. You understand that? Okay, put it in terms they can understand. You know what the deal. You know what the deal is. You call it murder. Okay, killing. Same thing to you. Okay, but this is in righteousness. Understand that? Okay, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. That's what the that's what the Godfather does. He ain't pull out no knife or gun himself. In this moment, he's telling the boys, hey, bring him over here and slay this man before me. This before unprofitable me. servant. I see it. I want to see it. This is the austere man. Thou knewest that that was an austere man. You still play with me like I was a chump. That's what you did. You see that? So occupy until he come, Israel, which is doing what? Do these works, man. Understand. Try to be fruitful in this walk. Pray to the most high for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's what you need. All right? Courage, faith. All right? Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's very simple. The brother's right on point with what he's trying to uh, uh, urge you to understand, Israel. Okay? Get busy. You see that? Get busy. The works. Okay? And faith is another work of yours in the sense of you better have it. You understand? Now listen to this. Uh, um, you, the simplicity of it is, hear the voice, follow. That's all you got to do. Hear the words of Hamashayak, for they are life, and follow command. Okay? Now, let's go on over here to, uh, let's finish up and, and get an understanding about why this is happening the way that it is. Why is Israel in, uh, in the midst of confusion? Because the Most High God of Israel, Yahweh, hath placed the spirit of slumber on Israel. Only that remnant will hear his voice of Hamashiach and follow command, not come up with excuses. Oh, the, uh, there were, there, there were, I saw some foolishness yesterday. Uh, oh, pe black people, they were already in America before, before the slave trade. They didn't bring all these niggas over here. So they're saying, um, I don't, I'm not listening to that prophecy. They found a way to say in their own heart that they're not going to listen because they can prove by the white man's science or his, uh, his version of history how it is that all is null and void. And they don't have to hear it. They, they walk right into the wheelhouse of the nobleman, okay? Who has turned out to be, at the end of the day, a stone, cold, austere man, okay? Now, Amos in the 8th chapter. Amos in the 8th chapter. Let's go there right quick. Let's hear from the word of the Most High, okay? Amos 8, and we're going to go to the 11th. Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord God that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. Let me read it again. This is how it has been accomplished, this slumber. Okay? Here the thing. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. Okay? Without these words, you are a blind man. See how it comes back to blindness? Okay? You are a blind man, a hungry man, thirsty. Okay? That's right. Now, uh, well, mm, 
Okay, let me, I'll go ahead and read it, Israel. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north, the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh, and shall not find it. You see how cold-blooded that is? The Most High did this. We ain't scratching our heads no more. We're no longer as it is of the destroyer of the Gentiles channel. Scratching our head out of our wits because people don't get it. Because they can't see that these damn Mexicans are not their brothers and sisters. We no longer scratching our head. We no longer pissed off about that because we have been shown the way. It was here. We just didn't see it. Let me speak for myself expressly. Didn't understand. I don't need to be banging on that. Say it one strong, firm t time out of the scriptures and let it ride. This is the will of the Most High God. You don't get it because he has blinded you. Slumber. Okay, let me read that one more time. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. And they, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh and shall not find it. Okay? Now he sent his prophets back out here. And if you still can't find the word, why is that? Because slumber has been placed upon Israel. Go ahead, brother. That's right, man. Spirit of slumber. And the brother just read profound. That's why the scripture says, seek me early. Why I may be found. Seek me early, bro. That means you got to go seeking. You got to be diligently in this walk, seeking. Not just me tearing here and there. You know, I want to do it tomorrow. I don't feel like doing it not right now. Today, I want to do it tomorrow. It might not be it tomorrow for you, bro. That's right. You got to think about it like that. It may not be it tomorrow for you. You might die in your sin right there. See that? So when you seek salvation in fear and trembling, or with fear and trembling, you won't have these problems. You already know, oh, I can't be sitting around not doing nothing. It won't even feel right in your conscience. <laughs> you already, your conscience will be beating you up. Like, man, I got to be doing something, reading something, or doing, making a lesson, doing something. Can't just be if sitting If any around. man speak. Yeah, right. If any man speak, speak as the oracles of God. You understand right. that? Not your own words. This is, let me say this to you too, Israel, because I thought about this the other day. There is nothing else going on. Do you, do you really understand that? There is nothing else going on. It's Yahweh now, Yahweh later, and later on after that. It's Yahweh. There's <laughs> nothing else going on. There is nothing else going There is no other damn conversation. You understand? You don't get that, though, do you? You know, you want to you want to divide your time. I talk about you how for a couple minutes out today. I, I fulfilled what my my requirement. That ain't your requirement. It said, if any man speak, let him speak of the oracles of God. Right. So when you open your mouth, you are to be speaking Yahweh. You understand that? What did Yahweh Shai tell your ass to do? Praise Yahweh. He didn't even accept praise unto himself. Why callest me thou good? You see this? This is what you need to do. Immerse yourself in these words and let me stand that as an example to all of Israel that a dummy can get it. You see that? Crawl out of a hole and get it. Okay? Now let's let this give them a give them some wisdom, Mr. Zoya. Hey, check this out. Let's go to Second Peter real quick. Second Peter one. Let's go to Second Peter one. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the start at the uh start at the third verse. We're gonna read down to nine. Profound stuff here, Israel. Hear the thing, Israel. Blessed be God, be the God and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai. You at Second Peter, Which, Oh, Second Peter, Salakia. Second Peter one, huh? It's all good, no problem. Yeah, Second Peter one and three. We're gonna read on that. Even when we even when we pick up in the wrong space, it's still, still a sense. profound <laughs> word. It's still <laughs> right. When it's wrong, it's right. You see that? <laughs> I don't give a damn where I pick up at. It's still right on point. Right. Okay? Second Peter 1, we're going to go through the third verse. Correctly, according to his divine power, hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Though the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue through 
the knowledge of him that hath called us us to glory and virtue. Uh -huh. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. So we seek it for them promises, fellas. Amen. Ladies, sisters and brothers, oxen out or coatees. We seek it for these promises, all right? What? By these ye mm -hmm. might be partakers of the divine nature. You see it? Of the divine Having nature. Divine good. nature. Look at that. Divine nature. We in we're not in the divine nature right now. This is not divine. We are in the flesh. All right. Keep going. Let me read that again. That by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. And to virtue, knowledge. Right. And to knowledge, temperance. And to temperance, patience. Mm. And to patience, godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. For if, the, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Right. Right. But he that lacketh these things is blind. Let me right. read it again. Right. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but he that lacketh these things is blind. That's right. So if you don't have any of the above things as mentioned in these verses, you are blind, brother. Not any of them, all of them. All of them. Yeah. You, you need all of them. You lack in any one of them. That's why it says, but he that lack of these things is blind. All right? And have we not been blind, Israel? Sure, yeah. Okay? Absolutely. May I speak expressly, okay? Blind. Even if you thought you were seeing. You were not, okay? But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wait a minute. Let me just say that one thing before you go on, brother. That Wait a minute. I got to read that last line. It said, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. So we forgot that. Go ahead, brother. That's profound. That's right. People act like, you know, when we get into this deal, you know, you start cussing people out in the street corners, and, you know, the, it's just, just a regular Joe Smo that walk down the street, you cussing them out, you forgot that you was him. You forgot you was in the same predicament, not knowing nothing, just walking up and down the street in New York or in Chicago or wherever. You see that? But you want to scorn this man, and but then you, at the same time, you want forgiveness from the most high, yourself. You have forgotten your old sins, bro. That's what you forgot. Most I ain't forget. You see that? If you show no iniquity, he will blot him out and not remember him no more. But can you safely say that you have no iniquity? That's the question. Who can say that? Who can say that? Again, every man work out his salvation with what? Fear and trembling. Fear and trembling. If your ass is already assured something, what do you need to be fearing and trembling for? Here the thing, Israel. This is what you're talking about. These scriptures lean on them more and more and then more. Okay? It's your only chance because we don't know a damn thing. Okay? Let's go over here, brother. You had something cooked up for him. I'm ready to hear what you got. You wanted me in Proverbs 19? Yeah, let's go to, yeah, let's, let's grab some Proverbs real quick. Grab some words of wisdom real quick. All right. Proverbs. 19 and 15. Right. 19, baby. I got you. No problem. Slothfulness casteth, casteth into a deep sleep. Mm. And an idle soul shall suffer hunger. You see that? <laughs> so if you sitting around our door, nothing, you're going to be hungry, bro. 
you're going to be, and then see that the overcompensate for that is worldly things. So you're going to be buying all types of stuff, trying to fulfill that, which you can't fulfill. You can't fulfill that. You can't fulfill materialism uh, or your soul with materialism. You need the food of the scriptures, water of the scriptures. Your soul is thirsty. Your soul is hungry. Like you feed your physical body, you need to feed your spiritual body too. That's like right. If you're man. idle, you're going to be hungry, bro. That's just what it is. You're going to be starved out. See that? Let me read that to them again. They didn't hear it. Slothfulness. Give them the meaning of that, brother, if you would. Yeah, slothfulness, sitting around, laziness, not doing nothingness. Mm. <laughs> That's what mm. he's talking about. Okay, well, I thought it was all right if they, you know, they talk about your hour for 15 minutes a day. Okay, let, let, let the austere man hear that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. That's right. That's what we're learning about. We laugh, but there's no laughing matter. We laugh because this is how thin a line it is between life and death. That's right. You see that? That's what the hell we're talking about here. That thin line between life and death and laziness, slothfulness, casteth, casteth into a deep sleep. That's the blindness. You right. sleep. Okay? And an idle soul shall suffer hunger. We back to Amos, we just read it. Amos 8 and 11. Okay, famine of the word. You're going to be dying of hunger for this word before it's all over. Get it while it's good. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I mean, you sitting around with an idle soul that's not doing nothing. You're going to be hungry, bro. And your flesh is going to try to find every other way to fulfill that, which is impossible to fulfill without the water of this word, man. That's, that's what we're coming down to. Get into these scriptures, fulfill that, feed that. You see what I'm saying? The water right here in this world, you never go with thirst ever again. This right. we're talking about right now is transitioning from what we brought early in the lesson, talking about blindness. Okay, we're starting to transition out of that a little bit. Okay, we're getting over here to the understanding of how to come out of the blindness. Seek the most high. Seek the word. Let's go to Proverbs 20 and 13. That's what you had for him, brother. Proverbs 20. I'm, I'm set up. I got you right here. Love not sleep. Mm. See that? Love not yeah. sleep. Mm. You see that? Lest mm -hmm. thou come to poverty. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, love not sleep. Lest thou come to poverty. Lest you come for want. You see that? You're going to be wanting something. See, you up here, you idle. Just, look, this scripture right here in, in, in uh, Proverbs 19, link up together. Talking about the same thing. You being idle, you're going to be hungry. The person that's hungry or don't have any food is a person that's in poverty. Same verse right here. Read that one more time, brother. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Uh -huh. Open thine eyes. You see that? Mm -hmm. Here it is. We're coming. We're transitioning. Watch the thing. We're transitioning. It began that where we were discussing the blindness, the slumber that the Most High God has placed upon Israel. Now we're getting into the wisdom. Now we're seeing how it is that you come out of the blindness, out of the slumber. It says love, not sleep. Okay? Be diligent. Show fortitude. Okay, be Occupy. about this and only this. Occupy. That's right, brother. That's right. Okay, lest thou come to poverty. Mm -hmm. Open thine eyes. Open them. That's action. Occupy. Open. Occupy. Action Occupy. word. Watch the dynamic, Israel. Open thine eyes to do what? Go ahead. And thou shalt be satisfied with bread. Now, if you look at this in the carnal mind, that doesn't make any type of sense, does it? You can't open your eyes and be satisfied with bread. That doesn't make sense. But no, it ain't talking about bread, physical bread. It's talking about that bread that your soul hunger for. You see that? We just saw the scripture when it says those who sleep or those who be idle are going to be ha or going, uh, they're going to have a hungry spirit or a hungry soul is what it said. Uh -huh. see and this verse right here says, that if you open your eyes, you shall be satisfied with bread. You're not that's how you come. That's how you fight off the famine. 
That's how you fight off the famine. Bro. <laughs> the famine of the word. That's right. That's right. Let's read that one more time for him. Right. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. Satisfied. Famine over with. That's right. Bread of this word, man. That's what it's about. Bread of the word. There ain't someone with physical bread. You can open your eyes and be satisfied with physical bread. Your eyes don't have any type of uh, uh, connection with bread. You can't be satisfied like that. It's, it's talking about your, your spiritual eye. Yeah, you know that eye when you go to sleep and you dream, but you can still see? Yeah, that eye. Some ears that you can hear even though everything is quiet? That ear. You see what I'm saying? So if you if you think your, your spirit can see and your spirit can hear, you don't think it can hunger? Of course it can hunger. <laughs> everything your physical body can do, your spiritual body can do. Without the lust attached to it. Which is like the sexual lust, lasciviousness, concupiscence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> these, these things we got to get into, brother. For real. Preach, brother. Israel, we're going to give you everything we have. We're right. doing this together. We're not preaching to you like we're talking to you like this don't apply to us. Oh, yeah. we, the spirit of slumber has been upon us. That's we got to fight that every day, too. We have to seek the word. That we might come into sat being satisfied yes, with yeah, bread. I wish I was in the flesh too. Mm -hmm. We're in the same okay. flesh that everyone else is in. We got to fight the same battle. Temptation. Lust. Same thing. He fought it. You brought it out last lesson. Right. Wasn't he tried by the by, the, by Oh Yes, he was. He, look, Hashatan tried to make him kill himself. Think about the Messiah. Think about that for a second. He tried to make the mm -hmm. Messiah kill himself. So you don't think he's going to come at you? You see that? He's coming. He's there. You gotta have the tools. We're getting off in... to fight against. No, I'm that. sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, that's, I'm just saying you gotta have the tools you cook to fight that spiritual war. You ain't got that garment on. You gonna, right. get, gonna get consumed. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You go. You better have that garment on. We talked about it. That wedding garment. Okay. Right. Now, uh, love. Let's go to uh, let's go to Romans. You said you said go to Romans thirteen. Here we're transitioning now, Israel. Here the thing will go. Watch it. Lesson began at understanding prophecy. Understand that's how you know Yahweh is the absolute truth. We went back to Deuteronomy. He told you, seek me with all your heart. Okay. That's what you should be doing. Israel didn't do it. So what? He placed the spirit of slumber on Israel. We all can attest to the results thereof. Okay? Slavery, captivity. Okay? Now then, we discussed. What does this austere man that has been given dominion over all things, what is he going to do? How is he judging? We found out about it. Okay? He gave you things. And he wanted interest on those things. And when he didn't get it, he killed. And he's going to do more killing. Okay? Now then, we came over, we're getting words of wisdom. We understood that the Most High uh, get, put a famine of the word on, the, on in, in, in Israel. Okay? Now we understood about laziness. Can't be laziness. Okay? Now we understood... Okay, so now we're going to roll out of here. We're trying to understand how it is to come out, where the awakening takes place. Okay, we're learning that in the wisdom of this word. Okay, that's how you come out of the blindness. But let's read Romans 13 and 10. Okay, hear the thing and watch it because we're coming up out of it ourselves. We ain't changing right now to a new walk because we, because we just feel like it. The word told us, if you all do not become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom. All of everything that you have done is a waste of time, Israel. Okay? And I had a brother, let me tell you something, Israel, too. Got to scream on this right quick. The brother listening to the new video. Oh, I don't want to hear that about uh about you doing starting over in the truth the brother told me we want the we want the old destroy y'all back 
make a video by yourself and come on to us. We want you to do hand motions and curse to us and, and, and facial motion emotions and whatever else in the hell he was talking about. So he heard the video uh, starting over in the truth. Only a remnant will be saved. It was part two. Uh, and he heard that we're starting over in this new walk according to what the requirement is to get in the kingdom. And if this nigga did not play high, play high satan, who in the hell did? Because he told me, don't do that. Come back and be the old destroyer. Curse some niggas out. Be about all of this other shit and so on and so forth. He told me he don't want me to become the new man. Don't put on the new man. We want the old man. Here the thing, Israel. That's Here's the bro. thing. That's Hasatan. So what? you, when you're dealing with your family members and they tell you, oh, we don't want to hear about this righteousness. You right. trying to be righteous, keep the laws of the most high. We want the old you, the wicked you, the wicked servant who at right. the end of the day, what happened? He, hmm. The, 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 the boys were told to come, bring him over here and slay him. Before the eyes okay? of him who ordered the hit. You see that? Thank you. Right. <laughs> Ordered the hit. Ordered the hit. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think the brother who said that realized that he was being a hostage in that very moment. And I, I hope the brother he did. understands that. I hope the brother understands that what he did was a hostage esque moment. He had a he had a hostage moment. I hope he learns from that and learns why we changing and transitioning over to this new ministry or type of ministry. And and I know you're out there, brother. You've been following the channel for a long time. We're still on the channel. Before it is, we transition into the new channel. Brother, we're talking to you. We didn't do this to put you on the spot. We love you. We're hoping that you, like the brother just said, learn from this because you might not have meant it. Mm -hmm. But learn from it now because you are responsible. Okay? Like Peter. Like, I'm not sure Peter meant to do what he was doing because he loved Yahweh Shah so much he didn't want to see him hurt. Mm -hmm. But... It kept him away from the will of the Father. May you have a shot, man. Things like that. And what did that go? That goes back to just we're establishing that we pray every night that the will of the Most High be done. But when we say, oh, man, we're going to do what we want to do, we're saying we don't want his will to be done. Okay, we want to we want a result that's not the, of his will. That's not wanting his will to be done. Right. Same thing that Peter Peter was doing. How much I got to tell him? No, this got to be done. I came to do this. Get behind me, mm. okay? <laughs> love if love worketh no ill to his neighbor. We're in Romans thirteen. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. This is why we're taking this new walk because it's talking to us, and we are listening. And we are and we are performing to be in accordance. Listen to it good. Romans 13 and 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Right. Hear the thing, Radawa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. That's right, brother. That's right. So if you have any ill will, any ill. Uh, emotional feeling towards your brother for any cause or no cause, I say you're not fulfilling the law of the scripture. See that? And some cats need to be ostracized. These describes in the Pharisees, they got banged on all the time. I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. y'all love them because you know they was laws that whatever the case may be, but he didn't have any ill. What I'm trying to say is he didn't have any ill towards his brother. So even if we bang against the doctrine that some of these guys speak about, we don't have any ill towards the brother. And we got to make certain that we make that clear when we bring it out. Because let me tell you, like I said, don't think that the smoke is gone away. Sir. We got more smoke, but it's not <laughs> ill will towards the brother. You understand what I'm saying? You are preaching a foolish doctrine. It is hurting Israel. It's not according to scripture. So, brother, shut that down. Go into the scriptures and prove that that's, the, that's not the truth. And that's it. I don't have to call men stinking niggas. You see that? That was an error. I know that Hamashayak, like the brother told me, we discussing it. And I said, well, you know, they call what well, 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 Hamashayak called them and, 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 and uh, uh, John the Baptist, they called them vipers. Well, brother quickly was like, well, let's not put ourselves on their level. 
Yeah. So we're not going to follow them in that. Just to be safe. I don't need to do it. That's right. So we're done with that, okay? Learn from this, Israel. Don't just hear the words. Learn from it. And you change as well. That's how we can be on the safe side. And maybe, and just maybe, we attain to life. All right? right. So now listen to the thing as it goes on. I read it again. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that, knowing the time, that now is the high time to awake out of sleep. There it is. Right. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. What's the name of the lesson? Wake up. Okay. That's right. The spirit right. of slumber. Wake up, it said. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Right, so it's not, the, the, the most high is not delaying in his arrival, fellas. Don't say that in your own heart. <laughs> Don't that he is slack, no. as some count slackness. Right, as if you're trying to say he's being the sluggard or something like that. Nah, uh, -uh. well, he's doing, he's waiting for you to get right, wait for us to get right. Because he could have been, right. it would have been over a long time ago, bro. It would have been over a long time ago. If he would have came earlier, it would have been over a long time ago. Trust me. He said he's long suffering. See that? To us, word. To us, word. Not to the whole earth and all of mankind. To right. us, word. Okay? Here's the thing. Now, 1 Corinthians 15 33. That's where you want it, brother? I got it for you. First Corinthians fifteen thirty three, or you want me to go somewhere else? You do it. Right, right. First Corinthians fifteen. All right. All right. Then we'll read. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Right. Awake, Israel. Awake. Here we are making the transition in the in 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 this lesson. We're to the awakening part. We've been through the blindness. Uh -huh. Okay. We've seen the judgment by the nobleman, okay? Now we've, we, we, we got some wisdom. So we're starting to address this blindness, this slumber, this hunger, the famine, okay? And how to work ourselves out of that. Now we're seeing the awakening part, okay? All right, bro. Let me read that again. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of Yahweh. I speak this to your shame. Go ahead, brother. See that? That's second, that's second Peter uh, chapter one. We just went over that. All the things above was the things you needed to have. And then right, up, right underneath that, it said, if you don't have these, you are blind. You are in sin. It says, wait to righteousness and sin not. Let's sin. read those things again, brother, you just brought out. Let's go back to second Peter. Here the thing is, real again. And besides this, Given all diligence, uh, wait a minute, uh, Second Peter one, uh, true for the knowledge, okay, yeah, and add to your faith virtue, okay, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, right. and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity that's right that's right and where we are right now we're getting to second peter one we just read verse seven all right we're going to jump down to verse we're going to jump down to verse nine read verse nine brother all right but he that lacketh now these things is blind yeah so if you lack the things that was just mentioned above you are blind you are in danger of hellfire that's what you are in danger of. You are in danger of everlasting smoke. <laughs> it won't be. That won't be quenched. You that won't be quenched, brother. So, so understand this thing, Israel. Myself, the brother Vidal, whoever else is listening, we gotta follow these steps right here, man. This is what's gonna lead us to the kingdom. Wisdom. You follow that? You good? You follow your Howard Shy? You good? He always walked with wisdom. He was walking wisdom. 
That's right. Let us go. Let us go to the first, go to first Thessalonians, uh, Israel, as we get close to, to, uh, you know, closing this up. And I know it took some time, but again, we say if you got an hour to watch love and hip hop, you so better you. have four, five, fifty hours for this. That's right. Okay. It's first Thessalonians, we go into the fifteenth chapter. First Thessalonians fifteen. No, that ain't right. Is it what what a five fifteen you said? Might be five. I think it's five. Five uh, fifteen. Yep. Five. You got stop. I want you stopped. Uh, five verse twelve on there. Five verse twelve. I got you. All right, and we beseech you, and we beseech you, uh, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord. And admonish fact, you. Jump, hey, jump to verse five, brother. Verse five. So first, first Thessalonians five and five. First Thessalonians five and five. Ye mm -hmm. are all the children of light, and the children. Right, Israel, you are the children of light. Uh -huh. You are. You are of the children of light. You are children of light. That's what it is, brother. That's what we need to keep instilling or reassuring in Israel's mind. You're not of this wicked world, man. This world is full of darkness and hate. And this nastiness, this, this filthiness. You're not a part of that. That's not you. All right. What? Ye are all cho ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Right. Therefore, let us not sleep. There it is again, Israel. Listen to it again. Therefore, let us not sleep. Didn't the words of wisdom say, what did they say, brother? He said what? About, Which, Proverbs 20, Proverbs uh, Yeah, 20. exactly. Mm -hmm. Proverbs One of those. Talked about being slothful, slothfulness, bringing forth uh, poverty. You see that? So if you slothful, you're not about this work. You're not occupying until his arrival. You will be hungry. And you being hungry is not a good thing in the Adam most High. So Proverb that, 20 told us to love, not sleep. That's right. Love, okay? not sleep. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. That's right. Don't be, don't be captivated by that spiritual, that spiritual drunkenness. That woman, that wicked woman in Proverbs 7. That's right. She will keep, she will get you drunk and it would be a wrap. She would, she would get you and it'll be a wrap, brother. You know what I'm saying? For they that sleep, sleep in the night. Mm -hmm. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. And, remember, and look at this, though. What the scripture just said. The night, nor in darkness. So basically the same thing. So you sleep or you drunk. You drunk in darkness. It's not talking about in the nighttime. No, it's talking about spiritual darkness. You were drunk in spiritual darkness. This is what it's saying. You sleeping in spiritual darkness. <laughs> All right, go ahead, brother. Hear the thing, Israel. See the thing with your spiritual eye. Okay? But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and, and for an helmet. The hope of salvation. The hope of salvation. That's right. Not this the assurance. Is, this is the garment we need to be putting on for this spiritual war, man. Fighting the wickedness and principalities in high places. This is what we need to be gearing ourselves on or with. These particular things right here. The, the, the flesh and blood don't profit nothing. <laughs> it's all about what's in your mind. That spirit. That's what you need to be guarding with your life. Not your money. Not your cars, not your house. You need to be guarding that with your every last, with your every being. What does the scripture say? Seek the most high with all your heart. That's Everything right. that's in you, seek the most high. All right? So understand that, Israel. Let us not sleep. 
for our salvation is nearer than we believe. All right, wake up, man. What you got, brother? You know that? For God, for Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath. That's right. See? Why you think I'm listening to the thing? Israel, let me serve as an example. Don't be clapping your hands. Okay? Okay? What did it just say? For Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath. Right. That's not his whole. He doesn't. He's not the God of the dead. He's the God of the living. See what I'm saying? He want, He loves life. That's why he created life. He's not about death. But he, if you know when it comes down to it, he will. He will use that because he uh, will bring that smoke. He, he will bring that smoke. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, whatever he will bring that smoke. All right. So long as you walking in righteousness and not sin, you ain't gotta worry about no smoke, man. But uh, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Hamashiach Yahawasha. See that? So he didn't appoint us to wrath, but he appointed us to obtain salvation. That's what the appointment is for. The appointment is for is for salvation, ain't for wrath and destruction. So don't think of the Lord in that manner. That he just some type of destruction God. Oh, he can be terrible. No question about it. But that's not all he's about. You see what I'm saying? He's about this right here. He wants life. He wants salvation. And if you think you don't seek it, he ain't going to give it to you. He will give it to you. You got to seek it with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul, Israel. You know what I'm saying? So understand the thing. Most is not about death. He's not, he, you know, that ain't, that ain't his deal. All right. Again, the name of the lesson was the spirit of slumber unto this day, not seeing nor hearing. Hopefully, after this, we're seeing better, we're hearing better. Okay? The spirit of slumber is 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 coming off of us. And how did we do that? We went through the scriptures that we may have hope. We put it on your hour to take it off of us. That's right. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Study to show thyself approved. <laughs> he gives you there it is. everything, man. He gives you everything. That's All right. So we done on that. We should be good on that Israel here thing. Stay in the word all day, every day with all of you. Okay? Now, on this new channel that we're coming, this new walk is not about the channel. The channel will exist because of the walk, not the walk because of the channel. That's right. Here's the thing, okay? So this is what it's all about. Give all of, giving all of ourselves to the Most High, to Hamashiach, that we might have hope that this slumber may be taken off of Israel. And that we, because we want all of our brothers and sisters, even though that's not the way it's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. We desire that, but, you know, we understand, we understand prophecy. But we would love yes. for all of Israel to get salvation. Why not? We all been through hell in, in, in high water, man. Why not? You know what I'm saying? But, there you go. You know, you got to deal with the most, the most high has rules and regulations. You got to follow them. Let his will be done. His will be done, brother. All right. So with so, that being said, Israel, you know, um, we hope everybody got some edification out of this. And uh, you hold fast to that, which is good. That's right, right. That's right. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. Again, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, which I get understanding. Hold fast to that, man. Hold fast to that understanding. Get understanding and hold fast to that. All right. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom, Israel.